Okay, I've done a long and a short video. This one I'm going to try to do as a very quick video. So first, you can go to my GitHub page for all full details, instructions, and things. Start Alt plus X. Activates a highlighter, or you can click the highlighter button. Next, let's show a simple highlight. You select what you want, and you do Control X for Windows or Command X for Macs. It would then look like this. Another thing you can do with default when you activate the highlighter, it will save a page link so that you can just get a bookmark if that's all you want. Next, it will auto indent for bullets and headers. Next is removing highlights. You can control click for Windows or Alt click for Macs to remove an entire highlight. Or if you want to do a partial highlight, like this, just this bullet, you can select that and then hit Control X or Command X again and it will remove just the partial highlight. Next, adding double bracketed words for page linking. Just double click single words, it turns them blue, which means they will be page linked or multiple words. You can select and hit Alt Z as in zebra. It will then create it accordingly in Rome. To remove them, just hit Control click or Alt click, just like a regular highlight, highlight removal. Next is you can change settings and they will save from session to session. You can change the size of the window for instance. Or you can change the name the title page or the highlight tag, etc. Also, if you run into issues with page with line breaks, like this page, where it artificially adds line breaks after every in the middle of sentences, so you get all these individual items, which is not good. You can simply go to settings and say replace line breaks with single spaces. And then now you're going to have two paragraphs just like you want it. Exactly like on the page. The next thing I want to show you is you can go to extensions and then go to keyboard shortcuts and you can customize these shortcuts and change them. Lastly, I added a Kindle highlighter and notes extraction. So you just go to the settings and click Kindle notes and highlights. As you'll notice when you open up the settings, there are now new settings here. Simply hit get highlights, it brings them in. like this. Most people don't like the highlight or the location, so therefore you can remove those. So it would just bring the highlights and the notes in. You can click a new book and easily and quickly bring in highlights from all your different books. That's it. I hope you enjoy.